Our car is dead. What is going on? She's completely dead. Maybe her battery is dead. Okay, well, I have to call an Uber. Call Uber. Stranded in the garage. Somebody is not happy to be stranded in the garage. What's up guys? How's it going? I'm talking quietly. We have someone coming to check out the value of our home. Um, so she's currently taking pictures and stuff. So the dogs are inside with me because, you know, we want to let her do her thing. Today's been interesting. So this morning um, I was lucky enough. I have school at 8. Eva starts work at 8 and my dad had an appointment to get his car fixed because his car's broken. So he had an appointment to get his car fixed at 7.30. We had one car to do all of that with. So Danny was nice enough to let, drive me to school because she didn't start school till an hour after. My mom was getting ready to leave to take Yvette to work and the car would not start. Out of the five cars that we own, besides the Mustang, because we own six cars with the Mustang, but with the five cars, cars that we own, so Edwin's, Yvette's, mine's, my mom's, and my dad's, all of them have had some sort of problem. Yvette's, and, Yvette's car and my car are totaled. My dad's car has a problem with the transmission. My mom's car luckily just needed a new battery, so they're doing that now. Edwin's car, I don't even know what the damage is, but it's body damage. So within a little over a week, about a week and two days, all of the cars have broken down. It's funny um, to just think about the fact that when it rains, it pours is something my dad always says. When it rains, it pours. For sure did. So I was in class and I get out at 10 and I was going to get someone, someone was going to pick me up. Like my mom was going to pick me up because the car was going to be, you know, there. So when the car broke, I was like, okay, well, I'm going to have to stay there and wait until Danny gets out of school so she can drop me off. And then luckily Danny said, I have a break in between my classes of 10 minutes so you can come and grab the keys and drive my car. So luckily she let me drive her car home because I have stuff to do here at the house. And I don't, I'm not even really doing it because I'm hanging out with the dogs. I have to edit yesterday's video and I got to pay the bills and um, do homework before my next class. <sighs> It'll all work out. Everything has a plan and a reason, and Raina just doesn't understand the reason because she's licking the door like, why won't you let me in the house? She's licking the door. Anyways, okay, so I just wanted to keep you guys informed on what's going on. Thank you, Danny, so much for being um, just the best today and helping us out so much. Hi. Oh, hold on, the camera's super blurry. Hold on. Oh, that's always happens to me. On a scale of 1 to 10, Mom, how stressed are you today? It's been a very stressful day, but you know what? I still feel we're blessed. Every, every single car that we own broke down. We ended up carless. Okay. Yeah, it got stressful. And thank, thankfully, Danny was here to help us Save all out day. a little bit. She sure did. Um, so yeah, thank you, Danny, for saving the day. And so I'm editing today's video. I'm going to eat a little bit and then hang out with my mom because I miss her so dearly. Thank you, baby. Yeah. Just, this is what they say to do the dogs when they're too stressed out. They say do this to them. Oh, better? It does feel better. Okay, good. I am a dog. Hello. Man, that was close. Sorry, I couldn't see how close <laughs> I was to you. Okay guys, we are in the car that was once not working this morning. My mom's car needed a new battery. It has it now and it's working. And now we're on our way to go pick up my dad's broken car. And then I gotta go to school. You guys, last night, all night, they have, you know, you know in your house you have those little fire alarms smoke. that are on the ceiling, yeah. smoke alarms, they're on the smoke ceiling, alarms. so for some reason there's a fire, they'll go beep. When they're low on battery, they make just like a beep noise every like, two minutes or so yeah. and it was the one right outside of my room and so all night you just hear beep beep needless to say i didn't sleep too well all right anyways we're good we gotta stop and get a starbucks i'm just that tired no i gotta drink coffee Hey, thanks. What's up, squad? Ain't nothing but a G thing, baby. What's up, squad? Squad. Squid. 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 What's up, squids? What's up, squad? Hey, What's squids. How's it going? That's what I want to call you guys now. What's up, squids? So we went to pick up Yvette. We went to get gas and, um, God, look at that. We went to pick up... She's so mean. She's looking at a woman's pants. So oh, rude. I'm sorry. Anyway, we are looking at her butt, really. There were see-through pants at school. Okay, anyway, mom. Come we on. we went to pick up Yvette. 
in dad's car. I just went to get gas in it for tomorrow. Okay. Leaving it at work, it's <laughs> nothing. Once it warms up, it doesn't want to go. So Whose car? Dad's car? Yeah. So needless to say, Yvette and Edwin just took daddy to rent a car for work for the rest of the week so he can go to work. Ain't nothing but a G thing, baby. Well, I'm glad everything went so well with you while you know I was what? gone. Um, I just got out of class and my 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 brain literally hurts. Like I, I can feel my brain so pulsing. So what happened is we had to make another program. I'm, I'm actually writing like actual language now. So we had to write a program. The only problem was that this program required me to know actual math. Oh, here you go. And I mean, like your time tables? The, not the times tables. We had to figure out it was about loans. Let's say you want you want seven hundred dollars. It, what you would really be paying is a thousand dollars. So that's the loan at face value that's is a thousand dollars, but you really only get like seven hundred dollars. Yeah. So I had to figure out work backwards because they gave us the formula to if you have if you if your loan is a thousand dollars, how much you'll get after interest is really seven hundred. So I had to work backwards and say if I want seven hundred, my loan is a thousand. Yeah. Yeah. And it was. I would have told you. That. I mean. Yeah, mom. I know. I knew that Life part. Experience. I had to figure out the formula. Oh, the formula. I had I to would, figure out the formula I so I could put it into a computer, so the computer could figure out how to figure it out for someone. I would never be able to help you with that. It took me and three guys sitting next to me to figure it out. Anyways, all right. I'll see you guys in a little while. I'm gonna take a nap. Peace. Squat out. Squid out. It's pretty early, actually. Um, but you know, it's just time to go to sleep. I'm calling it a night. What about you, dude? You done for the night? Oh yeah, me too. That's how I feel. I'm calling it early tonight. Thank you guys so much for watching. <sighs> Look, I'm hoping really soon to get a new camera and then you guys will feel that quality difference. You feel me? I realize every day that this camera is getting worse and worse. It's just like, there's like, squ like squiggly lines and stuff and uh, it's just, it's been, you know, if you think about it, I've only had this camera for a year, which in the long scheme of things seems like such a short time. But when you use this camera for, you know, at least five minutes every day, it, uh, it, it's taken, it's been used a lot. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. All negativity aside, I'm still happy to be alive. Right? So you want to say goodbye? Bye.